It's DDK and today you are going to find out if you should or should not start a cargo van or box truck business. Just like that we are here at Flo and Nicole. Get to this money you would never ignore. How you doing boss? Good, how are you? Um, you want to pick up an order? Yes sir. Uh, 5439 are the last four digits. 5439? Yes sir. It's supposed to be two, two boxes of 48 by 48 towel. Don't see anything by that number right here. See, the same thing happened yesterday. I just took him three, three of them yesterday. If the same thing happened yesterday, he was here. Oh, up? I'm back again. He's I guess I got to take him so too. So you know about this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yesterday he picked <laughs> up uh, some Philip Soder. I think it's like. Uh, you remember the name? It's Muhammad. Well, what's the order number? You don't have an order number. Uh, the I last five four three nine. And the name's Muhammad. I, I yeah. don't see no Muhammad. Muhammad or Luji. Well, yesterday it was Luji, and today it's Muhammad. This is that one. Louis, Lu. Yeah, maybe they uh, live together or something because yesterday it said Luji, but when I went to the house, it was Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad is the contractor or something, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, deliver it, and then I'll ask Tanner and them how to deliver it. So out. just help them load it out. And just like that, we got everything figured out. We want the money, not the cloud. Don't forget that, baby. And some people want the cloud. I want the money. I just want the money, bag. I just want the money. <laughs> I just want the money, bag. I just want the money. What y'all know about that? Comment below and let me know if you know about I just want the money, baby. And comment below and let me know who sing that song. Yeah. Well, no, me and Muhammad took it off yesterday together. Oh, okay. So it was fine. It was actually uh, shrink wrapped and everything. So I don't yeah. know what happened. Uh, this is not yesterday. Oh, before. No, the first one. No, oh. Okay. Yesterday they were fine. The first transport, you know, when. Uh, see, you're going to go with the skip like that. Yeah. Can he actually help me take this off? You got you it? You put it like this. Like this? Yeah. Like this. Almost better because... Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. Wait, wait, are you sure? I yeah. can put it in the middle. I can hold some of the weight. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, going, I'm going the wrong way. way. <laughs> Teamwork. I put mine first? Yeah. Okay. They're just so finicky. You cannot drop these things out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my aim first or your aim? Yeah, end? you can pull first. Oh, okay. Okay, my hand is high. Yes, my oh, okay. okay, I have to take a picture. Yes. You guys have been having some fun, I see. It always happens. Oh my gosh, it's you always have to go to the store five more extra times. Yes. It always and happens. Then like we that. have to come to return. We have some stuff on that pile and on this oh. pile. I mean, not return, it's extra. We oh, yeah, and did you return? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's the leftovers. Okay, and we are good to go. Yeah, no signature? No. no. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you guys very much. You guys Thank have a good you. one. Thank you for coming. For that order, the pickup place, of course, was Floor and Decor. We drove 15.38 miles. We picked up two boxes of towel and we made $48.95, enough money to pay the rent. We run around on bins with no tent, let's go. Just like that, we are here at Home Depot. Let's see if we're in the right area. You might be messing up. <laughs> nope. Uh, am I at the wrong right place? Uh, I guess I got to go down here. Hello. 
How are you doing? I have an order to pick up. Am I supposed to come here? Yeah. Okay. Are you in a van? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. They told me that the van guys are coming here now instead of going in back. So that's good. I have a feeling. So what's the order number? Let me um, the last, you need the whole order number or just the last four? Uh, no, I would need the whole. Okay. H. One nine five two. H one nine zero seven. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> okay. Uh, two eight six four two nine. Okay. Oh, that's a heater. Oh. Yeah, these are heaters. Oh, of course. Oh. Yeah. Common cool. I've never seen it before. Yeah, well, you've gone to restaurants during COVID. Oh. But I don't know why they need twenty of them. What they're doing. Maybe they open up a big restaurant. We, we, I don't know. I'll see when I get there. Is sort of nice. Yeah. yeah Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a great day, man. Y'all see what's going on, baby. We got these joints. They said they weigh 86 pounds. Oh, these joints, they got a little, they look, it's not a, they don't seem like 86 pounds. More like, I would say like 50 pounds. Seems like it weighs like 50 pounds. That's it. That's all. I'm trying to put the ball, not the star. We do have the dollars and the four wheel car that we need to use. And the reason why I'm putting it over here is because that's what, that means we don't have to strap it down because it's going to be right here in this area. You know what I'm talking about? Right and just like that, it's time to hit the roll and get our pockets on swole. Let's go! So we are here at the drop off location, but I have no idea exactly where to go because it's like three different uh, apartments. Well, it's like not apartment, but businesses. So I gotta figure out which one to go to. I don't know if I'm supposed to go here or go here. I called them, they didn't answer. So let's see what's going on. Dang, it's way more than three. It's all the way up to number nine. Where am I supposed to go? Well, guys, we're gonna take the four wheel cart and take it to the front door. Take it to the front door. I'm gonna go home with my I'm back. Back for round two. Honestly, I probably should have used the, the dolly instead of using the four cart, but I ain't like getting it, so it is what it is, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Now we gotta step back and have the photo here. No, no, so mad. We gone. So the second order we just completed was actually supposed to be five items weighing 86 pounds a piece. So it was supposed to be 430 pounds driving seven miles for 47.38. Went up there to be great and got that cake. The customer wasn't there, so we had to do what we had to do. We had to drop that joint off and keep on moving and grooving. We are here getting this money and y'all know it's soothing. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the pickup location, baby. -e -e. We've been here a couple times. We've been out here to grind. They don't see to see a shine. You don't see where I put that pallet, baby. They got big pallets right here, so they probably use a lot of them. So, <coughs> yes, sir. I gotta go to Woodridge. My guy about to get us together. I think we came we came here a few times to do the same exact load. About to get our pockets on swole. It's three pallets, so we're gonna move this stuff out the way for right now. Then we gonna after you strap that up and stop. Just like that, my guy about to pull up, so we can go ahead and get these dividends and win. You know what I'm talking about? Then we gonna spin and hopefully we get another order again. You know what I'm talking about? And just like that, y'all already know what time it is. It's time for us to get these dividends and win. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the drop off. Time to knock their socks off. How you doing, boss? You work here? No? Oh, okay. Stay in here. Oh. I have a drop off for you from uh, El Grove Village. Okay, appreciate it, boss. My 
fire. My God, I'm about to get us together so we can run up this cheddar. <coughs> get this money. We can do better. We can do better getting this money, baby. But it is what it is. We ain't complaining. We maintain it. We keep on doing our thing. We're from Granite. We're from Landon. Pallet 2. I know what it's time to do. And last but not least, that final order we just completed, we drove 10 deadhead miles, 23 miles loaded, so 33 miles altogether, and we did receive a payment of 125. Now, the question is, should you or should you not start a cargo van or box truck business in 2023? Honestly, I have no clue. It depends on two very important things. One is more important than the other one. But number one, it depends on your market. And number two, which is the most important of them all, it depends on you. It all depends on you. The market is going to do what the market is going to do. But what are you going to do? So that's why it depends all on you. Now, I know you want to start this business. I have some questions for you. Get a pen and a pad out and ask these questions to yourself. Number one, do you have the money to start the business? Do you have the money? Also, do you, if, you're gonna, if you're not gonna pay cash for the cargo van or box truck, do you have the credit, well the business credit, to start the business? It's another question. Now, okay, so you got those things. Do you have reserves? You're gonna need some reserves just in case something happened. You never know what might happen. The market might change. The cargo van or box truck might mess up. You might have to take it to the shop. You're gonna need some reserves. So if everything comes to a halt right now, like at a complete halt, do you have like six months of reserves to get everything situated? It's another thing you gotta think about. So you got all of those things knocked out. Now, the question is, what are you gonna do with the cargo van? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do expediting? Are you gonna try to gig gaps out? Are you gonna get a carrier? Are you gonna get your DOT and MC? I mean, what are you really gonna do with the van? Okay, so you say you wanna be an expediter, right? Because you see all these YouTubers, they running around making all this money doing expediting. And yes, they do. Some of them make some great money. The question is, are you able to drive nine to 12,000 miles per month on your van or box truck? Are you willing to do that? Are you able to do that? Okay, so you can do that. If you're getting one thing, one very important thing, can you drive in snow? I mean, you're going to be an expediter, so you got to, you got to think about this. I know that you may live in Texas or Florida or wherever you may live at, but you're going to have to come through Illinois and New York and all the places in the Midwest where it's snow. You're going to eventually have to come through there. Can you drive in that snow? It's different. Everybody see what they can do, but can you really do it? Okay. So you may not want to do expediting. You may want to go ahead and do the gig apps. Okay, you got the gig apps. Now, do you have all of the gig apps available in your area? Have you watched all the videos and found out all about all these gig apps? Have you done any research about different gig apps that may be in your area and not in my area or other people's area? Gotta make sure you do that. What are you gonna do when the gig gaps get slow? They're pretty slow right now, so what are you gonna do then? I don't know these, the, hey, 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 I know, I know, I know. These are just some questions. I'm just asking you some questions. It's up to you what your answer is going to be. So now you're saying, okay, you want to get a carrier company. What are you going to do when a carrier company loads it slow? It's pretty slow in my area right now. What are you going to do then? This is where the, the, the six months of reserves is going to kick in for you because you need to have money set aside just in case something happened. Or what are you gonna do if the carrier company shuts down? Because some of these carrier companies, they, they scam and all that stuff. So, which they mean to the next thing. Are you willing to do nonstop research? Are you willing to do research? Because things are gonna happen. The gig apps may get slow, the expedite may get slow, the carrier company may get slow. Are you willing to put in nonstop research? Meaning, every at least once a week or twice a week i'm on the computer researching different things i'm on indeed i'm on craigslist i'm on all these different places to find out other ways to generate money with the cargo van well we have a cargo van so are you willing to do extensive research on this type of stuff these are questions you need to, you need to ask yourself before you get into this because once you put that money down and you sign on that dollar line you're done it's, it's yours 
They don't care if you pay it or don't pay it. Now, we talked about expediting. We talked about the gig apps. We also talked about a carrier company. Are you going to start your own company? If you start your own company, what are you going to do? Like, what is going to be your thing? Are you going to do, you know, a mobile car wash or start your food truck? What are you going to do? You got to have all this stuff situated before you go and run out and get this van. I know you want to get the van because it looked good when I'm doing the videos. It looked good with other people doing the videos. But it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that people don't talk about and you don't you don't think about because you're not actually in it. You want to run a dedicated lane. You want to run a dedicated route every day. That seems like it's the most secure, doesn't it? I know. It seems like it's the most secure out of all the things I just named, right? But what happens if the van or the box truck break down? What happens then? Then you can't come to go pick up the load. What you gonna do after that? You can't come pick up the dedicated lane. You're supposed to be there every single day at this time at 5.30 in the morning. What are you gonna do if the van or box truck break down? You're gonna rent your box truck or van. You might break even or you might even lose money. Now, with that, you just wanna make sure that if you are gonna rent a box truck or van, that you make sure that you knock it out and you might lose money at that particular moment, but you're gonna save yourself. You're gonna save yourself. The reason why you're gonna save yourself is because the second that you don't come to pick up that route, the second you just missing days and all that stuff, <laughs> they gonna give it to somebody else, baby. Hey, drivers come a dime a dozen. They coming through them joints. They reaching out every day. They have a whole list of them waiting to get in there. They might got some people in there already who gonna say, you know what, I'll take this route. They, you might got a better route than them. They might have moved or something. They wanna get this route and you got that route. They might wanna say, no, let me get that route. He ain't even coming, she ain't even coming, they ain't even coming. So might as well, you just, might as well just let me get it. I already be here for three years. I think about that too. Now, those are a lot of different questions, but this is the most important. Well, these are the most important. Can you face adversity? Do you have ambition? Do you have drive? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done? whether it be gig ex expediting. And what if all of that fails? What if everything just fell, everything just dropped down to the floor? Everything just is just everything is just done. What are you gonna do then? Are you gonna make adjustments? Are you gonna figure out the next thing you gotta do? That all comes with that research that you're supposed to be doing. I don't know, baby. These are just some questions you wanna ask yourself before you get in this business or any business. I mean, this, this, this is in general because sometimes stuff may get ugly. What are you gonna do? Say you wanna run this company, you got all these different vans. What are you gonna do if somebody don't show up? What are you gonna do if somebody tire bus? What is all these are a lot of different questions you should ask yourself before you get into any business, not just the cargo van or box shop business, but any business. And I just want to ask you guys those questions because I know that a lot of people wanna get a van or a box truck or whatever they wanna get, but you gotta make sure you're doing your research and doing your own due diligence on this stuff because just because you see me do it or whoever else may got this van or truck or whatever the case may be, it may be different on your end. You never know anybody's situation. You never know somebody might got a whole bunch of money stashed away. So the money really don't matter to them. None of that stuff really matters to them. Somebody might, is everybody has a different situation. Also, a very important thing that I forgot to ask you. This is very important. Are you willing to spend less time with your family? Because when you start a business, you're gonna spend less time with your family. I'm just telling, I'm just telling you right now. Those are all the things you need to think about if you plan on getting into this business or starting a business. I just want to let you guys know that. Comment below and let me know. Did we go out there and scope and get it popular like Chris Crow? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and make sure you lock in tomorrow because going back down and throw them C's up in the comment section. Throw them C's up in the comment section. I ain't forget about y'all, baby. Y'all know I had to say it before we left, but I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK and I'm on my way.